Is your resume not landing you the jobs you want? Do you have a hard time selling yourself on paper? If you need help building a resume that gets noticed, tune in because in this video, you'll learn five simple steps to put your resume together using the free tool, Google Docs. And hey, if you want a knockout resume, one that gets you in the door for your dream job, I have a free training just for you. It's the five part formula to make your resume a success. Stick around until the end so you can find out where you can get instant access to this free training. If we've never met before, I'm Heather Austin from ProfessorAustin.com and The Career Club on Facebook. And on this channel, I help working professionals just like you build a personal brand so that you can land your dream job and grow in a career you love. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you're notified when I publish a new video or go live every week. Before I show you exactly how to build a resume using Google Docs, I have a free resume template that I custom created inside of Google Docs that you can download now to give you a head start. This template is hands down 100% easier to use and more effective than any of the other pre-made templates inside of Google Docs or out there on the internet. So click the link in the description below this video to download your free Google Docs resume template and let's jump into it. Step number one is to fill in your contact information. At the top of your resume, you're going to place your name in big, bold font. Right below that, you'll place your phone number, your city, state, and your zip, followed by your email address. And then you'll include a custom LinkedIn URL. Now remember, you won't need to include your entire mailing address for security purposes. However, you will wanna have a custom LinkedIn URL. Now, if you don't have a custom LinkedIn URL just yet, no worries, you can jump on over to LinkedIn to get that created. You'll click on the me icon in the top right-hand corner of the LinkedIn page. Then you'll select edit public profile and URL. From there, click on the edit icon inside the edit your custom URL section. You'll wanna create a URL that contains your first name, your middle name, or your last name, or some combination of those put together. You have five to 30 characters to use, and this looks a lot better than the combination of letters and numbers that LinkedIn assigned you by default. The second step to build your resume using Google Docs is to create your professional summary. Your professional summary comes right below your name and contact information and is the very first place a hiring official will read. So your summary needs to be spectacular. In the example, we begin with the action verbs, reliable, energetic, and resourceful. From there, list the exact title of the position you'd like to obtain or list your current position. Now you'll wanna customize this section so that it is specific to you. You'll mention how many years of experience you have in this industry and how your background and expertise are the perfect match for the position. Make sure you also list how you can help the company solve some of their biggest pain points. The third step to build your resume using Google Docs is to add your work experience section. Start by listing the company, followed by the city and state where the company is located, and then right align the dates that you worked in that position. Place your job title right below that, and then include four to six bullet point items that you can mention that are your greatest accomplishments while you were in that position. Be very careful not to mention job duties, but rather achievements you made while you were there. Now, I know that this isn't an easy task to do. So to help you with this, I created an in-depth tutorial that walks you through exactly how to write achievement statements for your resume. I'll link the training below. The fourth step to create your resume using Google Docs is to add your education. After your work experience, you'll add your education, including the type of degree you received, the name of the degree, and the institution you received the degree from. You can also add the month and the year that you earned the degree, or if you're still in school, you can list your expected graduation date. The education section is also a great place to add special training or certificates you received that relate directly to your industry. An example of this would be a diploma from a trade school or a short-term training program. This could be something like a certified nursing assistant, a commercial driver, or even a massage therapist. To really make your education section shine, you can add clubs and organizations that you participated in. You can even add awards and honors that you received or relevant coursework. 
The fifth step to building your resume using Google Docs is to add other relevant sections. Below your education section, add other sections that will make an impact. This is a great way to show some of your other talents and highlight other skills and experience that you might have. Some of my favorite sections to add to a resume are professional memberships, volunteer experience, or even professional skills. Choose other sections strategically. For example, if you have little or no work experience, you'll definitely want to add a volunteer experience section or even a professional memberships section. On the other hand, if you have a significant amount of work experience, you might not need to add all of these other sections. You'll make your work experience section the main focus of your resume. The point to remember is that employers are mainly looking at what you have done most recently. So if other sections on your resume will help you convey this, then definitely include those. And here's a good rule of thumb. If you have less than five years of work experience, keep your resume to a one page resume. If you have more than five years of work experience, it's okay to move on to a two page resume. In the Google Doc resume template linked below this video, I include a number of resume sections that you can choose from for your own resume. And if you wanna learn even more highly effective proven strategies for writing a resume that stands higher than your peers in the job market, take a look at the free training that I have where you'll learn a five step formula to make your resume a success. I'll go ahead and link it up below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I will see you next time.